Okay, so you're joining me down here at Hale Golf Range, um, completely to myself. No one here yet because the doors to the range aren't opening until Monday the 1st, it's now Saturday. Um, so I've got the range to myself. Today, if you can see in the corner there, I've got the GC Quad. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I'm on kind of a quest for speed. So my goal at the minute, because I'm not able to play loads of golf, is just to increase my club of speed as high as I can go, so as high as my body is physically able to go. Um, so today, I'm basically going to take you through a speed training session that I would do. Um, and see what my clubbing speed is. The goal for me um, is to try and increase it to 130 miles an hour speed, clubbing speed that is, um, which is pretty mad. But that's our goal today. So again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which is where I've been posting the speed sessions, go and follow me there, it's at Crocker Golf. I tend to post on my Instagram two, three times a day. Um, so it's definitely my most active social media platform. So if you like what you're seeing on the YouTube, go ahead uh, and follow my Instagram. So. Without further ado, let's get into the speed session. Okay, so always start a speed session. I've got to warm my body up. So I'll start with pitch shots going from 30 to 60 yards, work my way up the clubs until I roughly get to about an eight iron. And then I'll do some kind of body uh, related exercise just to get the blood pumping, get the muscles ready to uh, swing very fast. Some people might kind of say, well, why are you hitting shots before you're trying to warm your body up? I just quite like to get the feel of golf club first and just try and get my body a little bit loose before kind of doing full body uh, kind of stretches and exercises. That's just my personal preference. So now, like I say, just going to do a few kind of body warm ups and exercises just to get the muscles kind of ready um, and pumped. Okay, so now I'm going to work into full eight irons. I'm going to hit about four or five full ones, um, then go up to a six iron, four or five again, work my way up to a four iron, um, two iron, and then we're going to get into the driver. Now we're going to get into the driver. Um, I'm just going to hit these kind of stop, um, stop club speed like I normally would do on the course, trying to find a fairway. And then we're going to do a little bit of work with the speed sticks I've got here, and then we're going to ramp it up to those kind of full smashing drives. Okay, last what we're going to do before we go all out with the driver. So I'm going to use the red speed stick. Reason being the red one, this is the heaviest one. Um, so you have three different weights, this being the heaviest. Now this is slightly heavier than a driver. So I'm going to make some swings with this one pretty much as quick as I can so that my driver then will feel lighter than this. So that was four or five swings there with the speed stick, the red one. Um, now we're going to get into the very quick swing speeds with driver. So I'll talk to you a little bit about what I'm actually doing to try and increase speed rather than just trying to swing it fast. So at the minute, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use ground forces as much as I can. So how much power I can generate from the ground, through my legs, through the rest of my body 
and then into the club head, okay? So if you've ever seen Kyle Berkshire, and you haven't seen him, look him up on YouTube or Instagram. He's the, I think it was 2019 World Long Drive Champion. Um, he is an absolute unit. He can, I don't know what his numbers are, I don't want to quote, but his swing speed is ridiculous. And if you see how he uses the ground to generate speed, it's really interesting. And I'm basically copying it. So Kyle has a massive hip turn on the way back and he gets that by lifting the left heel off the floor. Okay, if I lift my left heel off the floor in my backswing, see how much more hip turn I'm able to generate. If I leave that foot planted and try and turn, I'm never gonna get quite as much. Okay, so lifting that left heel up, I'm able to create a lot more hip turn. I'm trying to get much higher hands at the top of the backswing like he does, again, to generate a bit more velocity. And then on the way down, I'm trying to squat into the ground and then coming into the ball, I'm trying to kind of jump out of it and left. Okay, so left heel up, high hands, squat into the ground, and then jump out of it. Might sound ridiculous and it feels pretty ridiculous, but the speed that is there when I do it. So now we're gonna try and just, I don't care about where the ball goes, I don't care about strike, I'm just trying to generate as much clever speed as I possibly can. Okay, so first one off the bat, I'll come and show you guys. So the goal is 1.30 for the session if I can. So the quad here, so I'm trying to hold this with a tripod. See out there, 125 clever speed. The smash isn't quite right because these are range balls and I haven't set to the quad to say it's a range ball. Um, so we're just looking at the speed here, don't look at anything else. Um, 125. So 125 is a very decent start for the first swing. Five mile an hour more we need in this session. PB, that is a PB, I'm glad I was recording that one. So that one, fastest swing I've ever done. Uh, don't Again, don't worry about the ball speed or anything like that. Because it's a range ball and I haven't told it it's a range ball. 127, club head speed. 127. Now, I'm sure a lot of you at home watching are saying, what's the point in trying to swing it like an idiot and try and just get loads of club head speed? Um, why not be happy with the 115 speed that I originally had? Um, that's still going to go 300 yards. You know, I'm still going to get it rolling past 300 yards um, with firm fairways. Um, but I don't really play competitively, for one. Um, I coach a lot and I'm working a lot, so I don't have time to compete. So this is like just my enjoyment out of golf and I'm learning more as I'm doing it. That's number one. Number two, everyone wants to hit bombs, don't they? Everyone's here a long way. Um, and number three, I just want to see where I can go with it. Um, I'm definitely not trying to do long drive or anything, but you know, I want to see how far I can push myself and how fast I can go with control. Okay, so see what I can now swing it with control. This training, this is purely speed. I don't care about where the ball is, I don't care about strike. I care about the clever speed I can create. I'll do other practice sessions where I'll play with control. So I want to hit targets, I want to hit different shapes, but this is purely speed training. I just want to see where I can go with it. Okay, so I've not been able to uh, get past my 127. I'm going to hit five more drives um, and then we're going to stop there because I'm shattered and my back hurts. Hit, doing this on 100% 100, 100 is knackering. Um, you can't do many otherwise you'll get injured so i'm going to do five more see how far i can push myself and try and beat that 127 we'd like to get 130. okay 
cannot tell you how far left these go. These are missing the range. <laughs> One twenty-five. I'll take one twenty-five as a finisher. Okay, so I'm shattered. That light's been wet. Um, yeah, I'm knackered. So just to finish the session off, I'm going to hit five control drivers, or I'm just trying to hit fairway, and we'll have a look at what my clubhead speed is and see if I can actually hit fairway. So, uh, like I just said, there, I'm going to try and hit fairway. So my fairway here is those two telegraph poles in the distance or whatever they're called I can't remember what they're called but I'm going to try and hit it in between those two that's going to be my fairway that was the best struck one so far in the straight and a 120 speed take that all day so that is kind of my what i do in a regular speed session i've been doing that for about two weeks now i'm probably just going to keep doing it um because it's fun i want to just see if i can increase my speed but that's a pb today 127 we're still trying to get to that 130 spot but uh i'll take 127 and go over and rest my back so my back hurts now from doing that um but thank you very much for watching hope that was interesting um just remember even though people might say to you, oh, it's better to be straight and long, I'm not so sure. I think it's beneficial to hit it pretty long. You've got to be fairly straight, but distance is definitely an asset you quite like to have. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I'll see you guys 